What even is an ionic compound? An ionic compound is a bond between a metal cation, which is found on the left side of the periodic table up until the staircase, and a non-metal anion, which is found on the right side of the staircase. This forms an ionic bond. A cation is a positively charged ion. It will lose electrons by transferring them to the anion to complete the other atom's valence shell. An anion is a negatively charged ion. It will gain electrons to complete its own valence shell. Most atoms need eight electrons for a complete valence shell. In order to show an example, we need to explain how to find the charges of each element. There are 18 groups on the periodic table. The group number determines its charge. For example, potassium is found in group 1 of the periodic table, so its charge is positive 1, meaning it will give up one electron. Calcium is found in group 2. It has a charge of positive 2, so it is willing to give up two electrons. To know the charges of the elements in group 15 and on, we need to understand that they are anions, so they gain electrons to complete a valence shell that requires eight electrons. If an element is in group 17, 8 minus 7 is 1, so it will have a charge of negative 1, meaning it will gain 1 electron. If it is in group 16, 8 minus 6 is 2, so it will have a charge of negative 2, meaning it needs 2 electrons to complete its valence shell. Here is an example of an ionic compound. Calcium, a metal cation, has a charge of positive 2. We know this because it's in group 2 of the periodic table. Chlorine, a non-metal anion, has a charge of negative 1. We know this because it's found in group 17 of the periodic table. This means that chlorine has 7 valence electrons and needs to gain 1 electron to complete its valence shell. In order to find the formula of this ionic compound, we need to use the crossover method. Since calcium has a charge of 2 plus and chlorine has a charge of 1 minus, swapping the charges shows us how many atoms of each are needed to complete a full transfer. Here is the formula. Chlorine gives calcium a subscript of 1, which does not need to be written, and calcium gives chlorine a subscript of 2. CaCl2 is your formula for calcium chloride. Now, here is how you draw a Lewis dot diagram. In a Lewis dot diagram, there are two parts, the formation diagram and the final diagram. First, let's draw the formation diagram. Since you know there is one calcium atom, you draw it only one calcium atom. Since there are two chlorine atoms, you draw two chlorine atoms, one on top of the other. After, you need to draw the corresponding valence electrons surrounding the atoms. Since the charge is 2 plus on calcium, there are two dots. Since the charge is 1 minus for chlorine, there would be seven electrons. Next, we use arrows to show the transfer of electrons. One calcium electron will be added to the valence shell of one chlorine atom in order to have a complete valence shell of eight electrons. The other electron from calcium will also go to the other chlorine atom, also completing its valence shell. Finally, we have the final diagram. Once the transfer is complete, we need to show the resulting amount of electrons in each atom as well as their charges. Knowing that, we would write our final diagram as follows. Chlorine, after gaining one electron, has a complete valence shell. We would represent this by showing chlorine surrounded by eight dots. Calcium, after losing two electrons, is represented by no dots surrounding it. The second chlorine atom, after gaining one electron, has a complete valence shell. Similar charges repel each other, meaning positive charges cannot be next to another positive charge. Similarly, negative charges cannot be put next to another negative charge because they would repel each other. That is why the chlorine ion cannot be next to the other chlorine ion. After we've drawn the electrons, we must write out the charges. This is represented by brackets followed by their charges found at the top right corner. Chlorine, having a charge of 1 minus, will have a negative sign next to it, and calcium, having a charge of 2 plus, will have a 2 plus next to it. That will give you your final Lewis dot diagram. And that's ionic compounds explained quickly. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more chem videos. Comment down below any questions you'd like to see answered next.